Yeah. Welcome to In an Instant. This is the first episode that starts with a hug. Is it? I think so. Oh my god. Uh. Welcome to In an Instant. My name is Ben. I'm here with a massive crew of cronies for the mini series on this channel called Are You Feeling Lucky? Lucky! Lucky! It is in this series that we enter the doldrums of the film fridge and pull out the film that's just been sitting there. We haven't really had a reason to shoot it. It's aging poorly. And we just gotta try it out and see what happens. What the f is this? And so we're gonna shoot around Griffith Park with this crew and see what we can get out of the variety of film we brought here of all formats, shapes, and sizes. Anything from IMAX to pack film. Roll the Ooh. intro, yeah! A kind of photography that would become part of the human being. Press a button and have the picture. Bow. We got the fabled Caleb here. Mr. Bad flashes himself. Yeah. What did you bring today to this expired film? Uh, let's see, Fuji Color. Nice. Pro 160C and uh, NPS. This expired in, I think, 05. Yeah, 05, right there. It says on there. This is going to be really interesting because on a previous episode of Are We Feeling Lucky, we shot some MPS that expired in 1999. 99? And we What's haven't seen the results it's yet. It's a good year. That was the year Star Wars The Phantom Menace came out. Two years before 9-11. Yes. Yeah, sure. Before everything that changed. Before, before, before changed. everything changed. Um, so, what are you going to shoot it in today? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mamma Mia 645 Pro. What is your favorite film that no longer exists? I gotta rep my boy, yep. Aerochrome. Bring back Aerochrome so that he could stop forcing me to drink Mountain Dew because <laughs> I've had way too many Mountain Dews, Flaming Hot Mountain Dews. I could tell. <laughs> two. Oh, dude. One, two, three. Oh, we should really help him out. Kodak, bring back Aerochrome. Can you do some like PTSD like flashback? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All aerochrome sorrows aside, Caleb's role of Fuji NPS from 2005 ticked just fine. It should be noted that as a slower speed film at 160 ASA, it was likely to hold up better than a higher speed film like Portrait 800. At worst, there's a loss of contrast and a green shift to shadows, but it's honestly pretty pleasant, and I'd say this role was a certified lucky duck. Now let's move on to shooting some instant film. A dicier risk when it comes to expired goods. All right, I got my SX70 loaded with some XX70 film from uh, 2020. A great year. Nothing great bad year. happened great that year. Great vintage. <laughs> yeah, right. I got my Mamma Mia. Yeah. Uh, Pizza pasta. Exactly. I got one shot of 3000B. I have no film shield on it, so I have to shoot it before I pack in my last of my 690 in here. Ooh. Okay, Tyra, what have you got on you? I don't even know what it is. Apparently, <laughs> this is saturated and very saturated. So um, these are two varieties of Kodak Ektachrome slide film. The interesting thing about this, I cannot wait to see what happens here, is that like slide film is not known to age well. But- <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> but we'll definitely see images for sure. I, I, I'm sure we'll get images. Yeah. At the very least, an image might come through and the camera at least like made noises. So. That's the kind of language we love on this show. Yeah. It's like, this might work, this made noises. No matter what happens here, we're all happy. Okay. Everybody, let's get lucky. Oh! oh! That is a happy accident. Look how it just saved the wow. boot. Your boot literally saved the spread. Dude, the color the is shot. remarkably good. Look Considering at that boot. the spread failure. He just stomped that's out the spread. He said, wow. it stops here. Yeah. Oh, right now. So I got some 3,000 in here. Which? 3,000. Awesome. Oh, Andre 3,000? Andre? I wish I had Andre 3,000 up in here. <laughs> same, same. 11 and a 30th in a cave? <laughs> and I'm not lying to you. That's 3,000, man. One, two, Milo. Oh. Wow. Oh. That is like. It's like the rescue photo when you find people in a cave. <laughs> oh, no, absolutely. <laughs> We've been here for yeah, 12 no. days. Did you bring <laughs> We're starving. Brady Brett Bretlington had a luck streak that rivaled Pete Rose before Major League Baseball banned him for betting on games. The expired SX-70 film had the lower contrast, slightly color shifty look one would come to expect from even slightly aged Polaroid integral film. He kindly lent me some of it to try on for size, and sometimes I really love this look. It's tough today. We're shooting with some expired film. It's some of the last stuff that'll ever exist of all the stuff we're shooting, and it's like, are we doing the right thing? Should we just let it sit there? Is the mystery of not knowing what's on it better than seeing the results of actually shooting it? 
I don't know. But what I do know is this, I'm having a great time. Now let's mosey over to our next expired stock, the incomparable Kodak IMAX 50D. Okay, we're here standing in front of a tree, which is the best place to be standing. And we got Rafa, we got Chris here. And what the heck is this tube? This looks like medicine, but it's not? It's, it's magic. It's not medicine, it's magic. Yeah, so this is a roll of uh, IMAX 50D that has been re-spooled onto a 120 roll. So it's 70 millimeter, so it has the sprockets. Um, Rafa didn't bring anything today, <laughs> so I've gifted it to him to Thank shoot. You, the Remjet is still on there, so okay. it is, oh. it is uh, ECN2 for sure. Alrighty then. So I'm shooting it on the Pentax 6x7 with the legendary 105 2.4, but I brought with me a secret weapon here, the rarest of the rare, a Pentax 67 close-up focusing filter so that I can do some big head portraits. That's gonna be sick. I'm gonna fill the frame with some big heads. I'm excited. 6.7 and ultra close-up is like the best of the best. Yeah. Just unbelievable. Basically shooting large format. The hardest to focus. Though. Sure, yeah, yeah. Something very interesting already as we've opened this. This is hand rolled film and it's got Fuji color backing paper. I'm not sure what, maybe Pro 400H? I'm not sure what. Looks like it. Yeah, and then we've got a separate label that, what does that say? Renee Zellweger, what does that say? <laughs> Renee Works. Renee Works, okay. He's perspirating and doing so good. And All right. we go. That was very well done. Okay, here we go, one, two, three. Perfect. <laughs> right, <laughs> right before you blink. Wow. Was right before wow. You blink. I mean, I'm feeling well, for sure. <laughs> this is a man who comes prepared to shoot. He's got his reflector with handles, which is really nice. Okay. Wow, this looks beautiful. Oh my god, okay. Wow. You're feeling lucky, right? Yeah. Eyes up, cat. Here we go. One, two, three. Beautiful. How did it feel? It felt great. Did you feel like you hit critical focus? I feel like I did. Oh, this is absolutely adorable. All right, everybody, look right up here. One, two, Milo! Perfect. Well, I think it goes without saying, Rafi's shots absolutely slanged. Since we did not know the expiration date on the film, Raf rated it at 32 instead of 50, and that little boost couldn't hurt with a film of this latitude. Colors look perfect, and it's really nice to see Kodak's stunning 50D film actually processed in ECN2 chemistry, which is the developer it is intended for, whereas Cinestill's 50D is a version of this film more commonly available that has the backing removed for compatibility with C41 chemistry. And now you might be wondering, what was old bag shooting? Well, I brought out the legendary Kodak Panatomic X a 32 speed black and white film that, as far as I know, expired in the 80s-ish, but still delivers a high contrast, powerfully moody look, especially when paired with the Lomo Minotaur lens I had on my Leica CL. So here we've got not only a Polaroid photographer in Freddie Brett Watkins, but he's also a cinematographer. Mm -hmm. So when we're dealing with light and we're shooting together, and I'm like, the light's not quite hitting you right. He just knows how to like, just hit it. Hey, you gotta find that light. I tell it. it to people all day, so if I can't do it, I'm not gonna be able to live with myself. And you don't really deserve to be around anymore. I mean, pretty much. Sure. The issue though for me is I can only have about 30 seconds of direct light. Oh, and then, then you I, you start know, sort of like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I turn into expired film. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. So <laughs> like, utilize this time wisely. Yeah, yeah, oh, I will, I will. With a handful of shots left on the Panatomic X roll, we wrapped it up as the sun crested at Death Valley National Park scrambling for our lives to catch the remaining light. You'd think shooting with slow speed film in general would be kind of a pain in the ass. I mean, that, that's sort of like the idea. When you're shooting with like ISO 6 film, you're gonna have to put your 35 millimeter camera on a tripod and, and really take your time with every single shot. You're not really gonna be able to just whip it around. But with 32 speed film, uh, it's actually not so bad. Um, I'm shooting it at ISO 25, overexposing it a little bit, um, as one does with, with film this expired. Uh, but I found that like it's very usable handheld. I mean, we can very much pop around here today and shoot with it uh, very flexibly. Um, so that's nice when you're traveling and uh, you know it can be a little bit annoying to have to set down a tripod at every single location for 36 frames if you're trying to get through a roll in a day. Going from my previous experience of, of I guess, pushing it by accident, um, developing it at like four and a half minutes in HC 110 dilution B. Um, I might have to ring that back a little bit uh, or ask a lab for their advice. Um, so we'll see what we get. I'm pushing it. I'm just, I'm opening up the shutter speed, the 1 15th. I'm pushing it, I'm panicking. This is not how I normally operate. I'm sorry you guys have to see me like this. I hope I don't do something I can't take back to the ones I love tonight. 
Uh, high contrast lighting situation, not exactly sure how well the Panatomic X will reproduce shadow detail. I metered four shadows, so at the very least we'll have highlights. Nat, Nat of course is shooting medium format digital, so you have no worries in the world right now. Zero. Zero worries. Zero worries. Zero worries. <laughs> digital shooters got digital. All righty, tidy uh, crops are blighty. Thank you for watching in an instant. Uh, we really all felt fairly lucky today, I feel. We got a couple shots we know came out thanks to Brett's Polaroid action, where we could see it right away, including uh, the SX-70 film we were shooting. The other stuff, none of us are know what we got yet. That's the beauty of film and expired film. We A, don't know what we were shooting. B, we don't know how it's gonna come out. But we had a great time, right? Right, guys? Whee! Oh my God, that's the sound of some happy campers. Please go ahead and drop your booty on that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more reviews, shoots, breakdowns, and all things instant. Peace out, Cub Scouts.